don't have a red jean and sooner or later I'm gonna get older and I'm gonna be doing housewife life and I'm gonna be doing style every day <laughs> so I will need a red jean because I will pair it with a white shirt and wear some classic Valentinos or a classic Saint Laurent heel so definitely need a red jean but the denim is very high quality it's very vintage and then look at this yes of course you think I'm going to be wearing plain jean? No! If you know me by now, I need a little bit of shazam, a little bit of glitz, a little bit of glam. Come on guys, look at this. Come on! Look at this sparkle. Oh, my Nigerian side is really coming out. Look at the sparkle and the shine, guys. I have been wanting these jeans for ages. welcome back to another video so today is all about a selfages sale haul so there are actually two bags but honestly it's really hot and i cannot be bothered to be carrying bag from bag so yeah so obviously that's how much things would actually cost if i bought them at full value but i'm just going to go through each thing that i bought and tell you what i got it at sale price but before we get into this video if you're brand new to my channel i do videos on tuesdays wednesdays and sundays and i'd love if you would join me and subscribe to my channel so if you want to see more hauls more beauty more lifestyle more living more 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 then hit that subscribe button oh you already did okay let's get into the video okay so a little tip is well, it, it really really depends on what you want to buy but a little tip is when something goes on sale I do this with Selfridges I do this with Zara and sometimes Topshop and Pretty Little Thing because those are the shops that I shop in I don't shop anywhere else because I feel like I don't need to but the trick is to not buy things when they go on sale immediately wait two weeks and in that second week midway through then pick up your purchases so what I do is I put everything in my basket and then in the second week I will go back to my basket and whatever's there I will buy it and then I will see that the price that I saw when it first initially went on sale has gone down however if it's a bag or a shoe that does not work because you're not that important like there are other people that are willing to spend their coin but if it's like clothing I always wait I never buy it at full value because with blogging and working in fashion like I'm used to getting things gifted or significantly cheaper so I just don't like to spend a lot of money for four things I just don't and also I literally have everything I literally have anything you can think of in terms of clothing I have it white shirt I have it white off the shoulder shirt I have it white jeans I have it white shorts I have it white skirt I have it so I don't really like to be buying a lot although this is a real contradiction because I did spend roughly around hmm well let's see let's go through pieces and we'll calculate it and I will tell you at the end how much I ended up spending so the first one was this off-white top which says woman and then at the back it is embroidered with women I absolutely love this top this is a small or is it an extra small I oh, know it doesn't really say it doesn't really matter it fits and the reason why I love this is because I'm just loving off-white like I just love accessories I have a few pieces from him and I just feel like Virgil is my guy like so I ended up getting this for 20 pounds and it was reduced from 310 pounds but it was the last one and I was just lucky enough to just randomly find it okay so I've paired the off-white top with a rag and bone camouflage jacket some frame jeans and my Yeezys the second thing that I got were these rag and bone levers. How cute are they? And they just have like a little slit at the end. And these were £750. Not bad. I don't know why I thought they were £910. And I really... Oh my god. I've just seen where the tag used to be. Sorry, I just got a text. Got distracted. Where the tag used to be is a little hole here. So you can actually see it. I don't know. I don't think it's that deep though because it's leather. Like no one's going to really see. But I did not see that. And I've just seen that now. That's going to annoy me. But yeah, these are lovely. And these are in a size 23. And I got them for £150. So I think that's really like a bargain. Because from £750 to 150 is not that bad. Last season, Frame had a navy pair. And I really wanted navy leather. Because I've already got grey and black. And I love rag and bone. So I paired these ragged bone leathers with a framed striped shirt and my classic Alexander McQueen runway sneakers. And then I got this Ula Johnson dress. This is so cute. And I am going on holiday and Ula Johnson is the ultimate summer 
kind of dress you can't really see it I'm gonna insert a picture so you can see what it actually looks like and how I styled it but yeah it's this lovely kind of burnt red material it was the last one and I just get it in a size 12 the only thing with Ulla Johnson is her sizes are very off because I have got another dress from Ulla Johnson that is a 10 and is tight and I'm not a 10 I'm like a 6 even an 8 is begging it for me I'm a 6 this is a little bit oversized however I'm gonna wrap this like I have this brown Marfloren belt that I'm gonna wrap around with it and I'm gonna wear some brown sandals with it so I do like the oversizedness of it because you know when you rouge it in a little bit so that's what I like about that and this was originally 550 pounds and I got it for 50 pounds but it was the last one I think there was another size that was smaller but I really didn't have time I just picked it up and kept it moving because you know in the cell you don't really have time to be looking you just pick 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 and then you go back because the moment you put something down someone will snatch it out of your hand and you're like wow can I breathe or okay cool so I was going to style it with a Ralph Lauren belt and rouge it up a little bit but I decided to style it without the belt and just some plain Zara sliders. Then I got these page jeans, size 24, I also got them for £50 and they are exclusive to Selfridges so only Selfridges have these jeans and I really love when things are exclusive to be honest. I don't have a red jean and sooner or later I'm going to get older and I'm going to be doing housewife life and I'm going to be doing style every day. So I will need a red jean because I will pair it with a white shirt and wear some classic Valentinos or a classic Saint Laurent heel. So definitely need a red jean. So I've just paired these red page jeans with a frame striped shirt and just these Azara sliders. And I feel like now my jean collection is done. Like I don't need any more jeans. I was waiting to get like a grey ripped jean high rise because I don't have one but I got gifted one from Frame, so really and truly, I don't need any more jeans. Although, <laughs> I'm gonna show you some more jeans that I did buy. So then I bought these girlfriend jeans, and I bought them because I don't have a pair of jeans from girlfriend, and I really wanted to try out these girlfriend jeans. And girlfriend is quite big in the States, it's quite big in the UK as well, you know. I think it's a sister brand from Revolve, or Revolve owns it, or something like this. But the denim is very high quality, it's very vintage. And then, look at this, yes, of course, you think I'm going to be wearing plain jeans? No! If you know me by now, I need a little bit of shazam, a little bit of glitz, a little bit of glam. I've been seeing these jeans since they came out and I was going to buy them full price and I was just hoping that they would go into sale and they did. <laughs> you know, Bob's your uncle. So these were originally £375 and I got these for £50. Not bad. The style is Carolina. It's a skinny leg with a high rise and no stretch. Made in Los Angeles, girlfriend denim, size 24. Easy guys, easy. Although, I wouldn't say it's a skinny leg, but I don't know if it, I'm saying that because I'm just skinny and the leg is not fitting my skinny body. For me, this is more boyfriend style, you know? Or more of a straight, it's not skinny leg. Although I have seen it on someone else and it was a skinny leg. I just think I don't have any body and I need to put on weight, but guys, let me live. So I wore these girlfriend jeans at an event and I just paired them with a Rails shirt and Steve Madden cage heels. And the third pair of jeans, I have been wanting these jeans for, guys, if you know how long I've been wanting these jeans for, it's a miracle I got them and in my size. So these were £435 guys, £435 and they're exclusive to Selfridges and this is the page Jacqueline Strait, it's a high rise straight crop. Come on guys, look at this, come on, look at this sparkle, oh my Nigerian side is really coming out. Look at the sparkle and the shine guys, I have been wanting these jeans for ages. So when I saw them in the cell, I think they were actually last season, not last season, the previous season before. So. I just had to cop these jeans guys like I'm going to be wearing this jean in summer this crop top and heel ready and raring to go what did I say ready and raring to go okay page I normally go is size 23 but because it is that vintage denim which doesn't have no stretch I take a 24 and these fit perfectly but what I'm gonna do because they are a little bit like croppy flary I'm just gonna like undo the seam and leave it raw and give it very vintage style but these jeans are very rock and roll like I'm ready to rock and I'm ready to roll in these jeans so I've just paired the page jeans with a lavish Alice blazer a black t-shirt and my golden goose trainers 
And then I got these Rag and Bone shorts in a 23. I just love the way Rag and Bone always put their RB there. It's like a signature thing for them. It's super cute. Let me just put this here because it's annoying me. And I need white jeans for summer. I bought these for £75. I don't know what I was thinking. Seven whole five pounds. 70 who? For shorts? Okay, cool. I don't know what they were originally because there's no price tag, but I'm gonna say 150 because Rag and Bone is always like 150 or 195 and I don't think it would be 195 for a pair of shorts. But they are vintage and they are white and they have a little bit of frying on them. But um, he sent me for 75 pounds. I actually bought these on the first day of sale and they were the only size 23. Like, oh, maybe I'll wait for it to go down because there were 24s. But realistically, I need white shorts for Mykonos. So I just went to go and I just purchased. But I always like Rag and Bone, to be honest. It's a very good brand. The jeans are very durable. It's just rag. And bone. So I paired these rag and bone shorts with this Maison Margiela bodysuit in nude and I wore it to the beach. This probably was my favourite purchase. In the cell this is the Bella Freud Chatem Jane and then on the back it says Gainsbourg is God. I've been wanting this jumper forever because it's just a classic iconic jumper that Bella Freud does. However, I haven't really seen it go on sale. I mean if you guys have uh, let me know but i haven't really seen it go on sale it hasn't gone on sale for a while so when i saw this i didn't even think i just bought it and it was 150 from 380 i think but yeah 380 in the sale and it is an extra small and it's 100 percent wool this is gonna keep me warm well not now because it is 20 like well, 26 degrees currently but still it will keep me warm when it's winter time but i just needed to get this iconic jumper and to be honest i don't know who sent me because i have many bella freud even Bella Freud, she's my best friend, she doesn't know because I'm really supporting her brand but you know, I had to get this. And lastly I got this green dress from Nilly Lowton. It is a silk dress. I've also got one in black that's got thicker straps. I love Nilly Lowton. I don't actually know where it's from. I was looking to like actually find out where it's from but I don't know where she's from. But I do love the clothing because they do like a juxtaposition of like silk and like cashmere. Um, I think she has some leather. I want to say leather. I'm not really too sure. But I just love the use of fabrics when she does her design. I think it's a she. I'm going to stop now because I don't really know what I'm talking about. And I got this in a medium because it was the last one and it was from £490 to £50 and it is a short cami dress in the colour olive. The only thing is it said medium because I put it on and like I didn't even know what size it was. I thought it was a small and then um, I realised it was a medium and I was like but it fits. So what's the issue? There is no issue. So I will be also wearing this in Mykonos on a night out. Uh, I might wear it with a belt, like a gathered belt, or I might just let it flow. But I will insert a picture of how I styled it here. Look at how gorgeous this green dress is on me. So I wore it with some Topshop earrings and just some Zara slides on a night out. But yeah, that's all I bought, I think. Yeah, there's nothing else in my bag. I did buy some gloves, but you know. There's no point showing you guys because it is so hot right now. But yeah, if you like that video, why not give it a thumbs up? If you think anyone can benefit from the video, I'll be happy to share the video. And as always, guys, you can always follow me on my social media platforms. I'll leave my Instagram link below. But I guess that's all, guys. And I guess you'll see me in another video. And remember to always say, what? Bougie.